Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's assembly. We're going straight over to Mr Farr who's going to tell us all about it. For the last two weeks we've done two assemblies on No Outsiders and this assembly is called For Every Child. Now, all of you lot, I know because I was exactly the same when you're growing up, I was thinking, oh, I wish I had the latest iPhone, or I need a new pair of trainers, or I want the latest Villa shirt, or I want to go to McDonald's, or something like that. And when things don't happen, you get really upset. Um, but around the world, there's lots and lots of children that don't have the same advantages that we have. I mean, they might not even live in a house, they might not have clothes, they might not have much food to eat, they might not have any fresh water to drink, and they might not even get the opportunity to go to school if they wanted. Many live in countries that might have conflict or might have war. Their lives aren't safe, they don't have access to food, they don't have access to clear, clean water, and they might have to walk for miles to, do, to go and collect it. Perhaps they have to live on the streets, Perhaps they're orphans and their parents have actually been killed. Just look at some of these photos, because these photos are taken to children around the world today and just see what type of lives that they have. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. Everybody searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. I never found anyone who fulfilled my need A lonely place to be So I learned this post up and you see some surprising facts After the Second World War, about 80 years ago, the United Nations set up UNICEF That's the United Nations Children's Fund because they were trying to raise money for children all around the world that don't seem to get fair opportunities. Now UNICEF is still active today, in fact it's growing and growing and you might see every year they have a celebrity football match, Robbie Williams normally organises it and a couple of years ago he actually uh, played a team made up from uh, Usain Bolt's colleagues and friends. Also, David Beckham, he does an awful lot of work for UNICEF. Here's a couple of As I said, our assembly is called For Every Child. And it's this book that was published by UNICEF. And it's all about the rights of the child. And I'm going to ask Miss Barrow and Mr King to read it for you. Whoever we are, wherever we live, these rights belong to all children under the moon and the sun and the stars. Whether we live in cities or towns or villages, or in mountains or valleys or deserts or forests or jungles, anywhere and everywhere in the big wide world, these are the rights of every child. Understand that all children are precious. Pick us up if we fall down and if we are lost, lend us your hand. Give us the things we need to make us happy and strong and always do your best for us whenever we are in your care. All children should be allowed to live and to grow and grow and grow until we are grown up and can decide things for ourselves. Max, Zara, Betty, Juan, Suyin, Reza, Paolo, Yaya, Yoko, Mohammed, every one of us shall have a name and a land to call our own. Keep our families together. And if we have no family, look after us and love us just the same. Allow us to tell you what we are thinking or feeling, whether our voices are big or small, whether we whisper or shout it, 
or paint it, draw, mime or sign it. Listen to us and hear what we say. No one on earth has the right to hurt us, not even our mums and dads. Protect us always from anyone who would be cruel. If we are disabled, either in body or mind, treasure us especially and give us the care we need to live happily in the world. Watch over us, wrap us up against the cold and rain and give us shade from the hot sun. Make sure we have enough to eat and drink and if we are sick, nurse and comfort us. Teach us all to read and write and teach us well so we can grow up to be the best we can at whatever we wish to do. Take care of our earth, the flowers, the trees, the rivers, the seas and teach us how to care for it in return. All children shall have time to play and time to rest when we are tired. In times of war, do not make us part of any battle, but shelter us and protect us from all harm. Allow us to say our own prayers in our own words, whether in churches or temples, synagogues or mosques, chapels or shrines, or any other place a prayer may be said to our own God. And let us sing and dance and dress in the ways of our own people. Do your best to let everyone know that, whoever we are, wherever we live, these, these are the are rights, the right of every, every child. child. Wasn't that a lovely book? And the illustrations are so beautiful, but they make me feel quite sad because I think every child, it should be automatic that they're not involved in war and they don't go hungry and that they've got a right to be educated. But that isn't the case and we know that's not the case. We're very lucky in Chardonnay, in our families, in the fact that we have food to eat and that we've got this right to learn and we've got friends. But I know that you are aware that not all children have that. And I remember when we collected old jumpers, hillstone jumpers with the badges on, and Lynn and I took them to this little village in northern India. It's nestling in the, the foothills of the Himalayas. They were so grateful for these jumpers because it kept them warm. It gets very cold up in the mountains. And I used to joke after they sent me this picture back that they got one of the local villagers to take a picture and sent it to me, that this was the Himalayan branch of Hillstone School. I was very proud of what we as a school did for people, for children, less well off than we are. And now it's time for our special thought, a time to reflect. Bless this day with chances to grow with friendship and a sense of community, with work to do and leisure to enjoy. Let me be a positive influence on those I meet. May I act with integrity and truth in all things, giving the very best of myself in all I do, living in appreciation of the gift today is. Bless this day. Join in singing with us, living and learning. And while you're singing, look up some photos of you doing just that. <laughs>